Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a Cars and Subscribers video. So in today's video I'll do a little bit of an update on the Golf R project. Um, I had to go back to work, uh, my vacation was over so I didn't have much time to work on the car. I didn't have much time to make a video. Uh, but I did order some things, you've probably already seen it in the title. Uh, I ordered a water or meth kit. Um, I ordered some parts for the, uh, to make the intake uh, side of the turbo. So silicon hoses and, and, and tubing or piping. Um, and then I got a race, uh, race work uh, precision fuel line, a high flow fuel line for, uh, from the tank back to the engine bay. So I'm going to show you all that in, the, in this video. Uh, let me give you a little bit of a status update on the car. Uh, the car is uh, in my brother's workshop. It's actually down here. Um, it's on the bridge. Uh, we got the turbo mounted. Um, and uh, the part we have to do now is, is make the oil lines and the coolant lines. The oil lines and the coolant lines that were on there uh, don't fit. Uh, obviously the turbo sits a lot lower than the uh, TTE turbo I had. That was really uh, much higher up on the back of the engine. So what we have to do, uh, we have to take off all the lines, uh, measure the distance, uh, make new lines, make sure the flow of the coolant uh, uh, stays the same, uh, so we don't connect it the wrong way. Uh, all these things we're going to start with tomorrow. Also we're going to start uh, mounting the or installing the water and meth kit uh, and start making the inlet side of the turbo. Uh, we're also going to try to make the downpipe uh, fit because it was, uh, like I said, in a little bit of a higher position so it needs to be a little bit lower so we need to cut that up and uh, weld it so it fits again um, and when that's all done uh, I think it's ready for the tune uh, I hope in the next video I can show you some installed things uh, maybe even the car running I don't know, we'll see uh, how it works out um, I'm also still doing the video on my second car. Uh, it's way too hot right now, like I'm sweating uh, really hard right now. It's, it's way too hot to do a, a video of runs and, and pools in this weather. So I'm waiting uh, until it cools down a little bit to do the video on the second car. So for now, keep watching the channel. I'll show you the unboxing. Uh, I won't do an outro, so I'm just going to say right now, thanks for watching and I hope you subscribe to see the next videos. Ciao. So let's uh, first unbox this. And then I'll show you the rest. I put on some paper because my address is down there. That's a Snow Performance uh, 2E Power Max kit. So some people call it 2.5, I think. So what's in the box? Let's put that away. There's an instruction. I think it's a pretty clear instruction of uh, how to install it. And some more information. So that's inside. It's down there. So I didn't open the box myself yet, so let me see. There's a sticker. Snow performance. And right here. We have the tank. So it's not a really pretty tank, to be honest, but it's going to be in your trunk probably, so that doesn't really matter. So we got the three holes on both sides to mount it. Then the connection down there. So that's the 3 liter tank. You also have a 9.5 and a 26.5 liter tank. This is just to protect the cables. And this is the pump. It's pretty, uh, pretty heavy. So 
So that's it right there. Boost cooler, extreme environment, 300 psi, water mat pump. So this is what it looks like. Those are the ports, or how you call them. So that says the flow right there, I think. This has four holes, so you can also drill it to something, or the board of the trunk or something like that. So that's the pump, I'll just put the pump back in here, then right here. This is the fuel line, looks pretty long, I don't know the exact length, but it's in there. And right here, I think this is the part that goes into the tank, right there. And just some things to connect everything. Then right here. Let me open that. So this is what's in the silver bag. It's the controller. It fits a 52 uh, millimeter holder. Um, I'm gonna probably mount it in my uh, in my air vent. I already uh, ordered a, a holder for that, so and the cables connected. So this is all that's in the 2.5 or 2e Power Max kit. It's the stock 3 liter tank, the pump, uh, the line for the water mat. Then you got all your little. Uh, bits and things to connect it. I'm not gonna unpackage that. I'll do that in uh, the install video. And then right here you have the controller. So this is the second thing I got for the car. It's the Precision Raceworks uh, high flow uh, fuel line. So this connects to the pump and runs all the way underneath the car to the engine bay. Uh, so this right here we're also going to install, probably do an install video on that too. Not sure because I have to install a lot of things in one day so I'm not sure if I'll be able to film everything. But I'll try. So that's, uh, that's another thing we got. Let's go to the next one. So last but not least, I got some, let me put this aside, I got some silicone hoses. This uh, goes over the turbo and goes to the uh, air inlet, the R600 uh, inlet. Um, so we got that. Then we just got some piping uh, because we have to go from uh, the turbo up, around and then back into the uh, silicone hose. So this is gonna this is gonna go up from the turbo and it's gonna have two bands. It's not going to be this full length. But then we'll go down a little bit. That, that's what we cut off uh, of this piece. And then this piece is going to connect to that and go into the silicone hose from the APR in the cooler. So we got that. I also got some Instagram stickers for my Instagram license plate. And then this right here is the silicone hose that uh, goes over the turbo. Uh, it sits like this and that uh, this pipe is going in there so that should uh, solve all the inlet side uh, problems we have 